What's going on family? Welcome back to the channel. So today we are doing another firearm review since we did so well with the last one. Right, right. right. Um, Josh said it was going to hit a thousand views and I was like, nah. And now it's at like 2000 plus. So we have a uh, firearms that we're going to compare um, 22s today as opposed to the nine millimeters that we reviewed last time. Uh, so it should be good. So again, you guys know me. I'm just me 2131. We got Josh, aka. Well, yeah, that's right. I am official now. I have started it. This is where you need to go. Mr. 38 Special. Check out his YouTube channel. Uh, he's going to be putting up videos as well. And, you know, in addition to what we're doing here, he, he's going to be putting up his own videos. Okay, so make sure you guys check him out. The goal is uh, basically to do gun videos, survival videos, knife videos, guy stuff. Uh, and hopefully at the end of every video I put up, you'll get a tip on survival. All right, family, so today I am going to talk on behalf of the Gen 5 Glock 44 uh, 22 LR, and Josh, or Mr. 38 Special, is going to talk on behalf of the Taurus, yes. which is a... It is a TX-22 uh, long rifle as well. Uh, man, Glock. God, I hate even saying that word, Glock. It sounds Glock. like you're going to vomit. Glock. The OG Lock. Now, both of our firearms are empty right now. No, mag no ammo in the magazines, uh, nothing in the chamber, but... Before I open this up, one thing I have to say that I love about the G-Lock is hard case. The hard case, man. By God, uh, as you get to watch my videos and his videos and our comparisons, you will find that I am a Taurus lover. I love Taurus, mm -hmm. but Taurus, you need to step it up. Yeah. I guarantee you the price point on that wasn't much higher or lower than what I got right here. And you can't give me a hard case? Come on, Taurus. Well, they're cheap for a reason, man. You, they, you know, they're cheap, they're cheap for, a for a reason, reason man. but I'm telling you. They're, they're, all the the stuff, they're not going to give you the All box. the stuff you're getting in here compared to all the stuff I got in here, which there is something that will blow your mind that you do not know about. What is that? You, you'll see. Okay. All right. So in this tier, we have uh, two magazines. Now, the Glock 44 only holds 10 rounds, um, which isn't bad. Today, the one that we're going to be looking at, we'll keep it open, as you guys can see, empty. Empty, okay. Um, this is a robin egg blue firearm. I like even the padding. I'm gonna be, you know, a little critical. I like the padding on the top and the bottom um, of the case. And uh, yeah, that's it, but I approve. What you got? All right, as normal, Taurus, step it up. We have the standard Taurus cardboard box. And your paperwork. You get also two magazines, but unlike Glock, these hold 16 each. That's impressive. It, it is a yeah, impressive, impressive thing. Also comes with a loader, uh, a little assistant loader so you can load. Oh, that's cool. Uh, I find it just easier to go ahead and pull down the sides. I was looking for that when I was putting the ammo in there, man. Couldn't but find it. it comes with it. So that's a step. That's cool. But here's the little secret about our good old Taurus, man. Make sure she's loaded. All right. She ain't. Good deal, she's nice and clean. Mm -hmm. Here's the big secret that this has. If you notice, this barrel right here has a little bitty notch right there. Well, that's because you can take that off and thread on that. And mm. what is that, you might ask? Well, that's so you can put on a silencer. Oh, that's dope, okay. That is dope. Yeah. Unfortunately, it can't be used in our state because silencers are illegal here. Never knew. Well, now you do. I guess I better go take off my silence. <laughs> so that's what comes in the Taurus uh, box. Let's get down to the nitty for the, gritty. For the shell, so I'll say the box is better with the Glock, of course. Oh, absolutely. The carrying case. Absolutely. You'll agree with that. Absolutely. But it seems as if the Taurus does come with more items. And so I will give Taurus that category, um, that it it's more... Uh, beneficial if you want to modify the firearm. Well, they actually have a competition version of this. Oh, uh, do they? Yes, they do. I don't think Glock has one, but of course Glocks are uh, famous for being able to make what is called a Gucci Glock. What is and that? <laughs> Gucci Glock it just means that you can do all these bells and whistles to Glock. Glock has a lot of aftermarket things that you can do to it to make it better. All right, family, so next we're going to talk about price point on both the firearms. Now, the Glock came in about 455 is what was paid for for this particular firearm. 
Um, I'm sure they range, you know, depending on where you get the firearm from. But uh, this was 455 plus taxes and everything. What you looking at? Uh, I believe whenever I purchased this Taurus, it was roughly at about 296. Oh, okay. That's 296. A, a so I think it was like 305 out the door. That's a big difference. All right. Now, one thing that I will say that I'll give you the benefit of the well, one th one benefit that you do have is the rounds. Oh, absolutely. Like this only shoots ten rounds. Um, especially for a regular sized firearm, you think it would carry more. You you ammo. think so, especially yeah. since Glock <laughs> uh, Glock's nine millimeters, I believe, hold at least twelve. Yeah. Maybe even seventeen. Yeah. And they're no it's the exact same frame. Right. So how in the heck do you only get ten? Yeah, ten rounds. On that. Yeah, I agree. Let's get into the what really matters. Well, before we go into that, let's talk about weight. Okay. I think I like the weight of the Taurus more. So when we shot this, this this here feels like a a, a toy. It really does. Yeah. Like this thing is super light. This one's got a little bit of weight to it. It does have a little but bit. But it's of also a lot longer, I think. Uh, so let's well. see. So if we so, turn them this way, yeah, put them side by side. I don't know, it's about the same length. It's about the same, man. I'll be darned. Yeah. Your handle is a little bit longer. Yeah. So but it's holding 16 rounds. Yeah, let's see if we can show the people. As you guys can see, the handle protrudes just a little bit on the Taurus. So it is a little bit longer. You have a little bit more um, room for your hands. Grip space. More grip space, definitely. Let's talk about that, too. I like the grip. The Taurus's grip, the sandpaper feel... Yes, yeah. that's comfortable. I, I didn't have any problem with this. And it is a weird concept. Let me see that one real quick. It, it It's not. Yeah. It's not that there's anything wrong with the grip on the Glock, yeah. honestly. I mean, I got to admit it. It did feel comfortable in the hand. Yeah. Yeah. I could see why people are purchasing Glocks because they are somewhat reliable. I don't know about their slogan of Glock perfection, but, I, you know, and here's my point on why it's not perfect. If it was perfect Glock, you wouldn't have to buy all this other stuff to make it a Gucci Glock. <laughs> Just saying. There we go. This one more time. I'll, okay, so now holding, I would give the handle to Taurus. I do like the handle more, um, but when we were shooting, I didn't feel a difference. No, I, no. I mean, not, not a difference that I, no. I mind it. You know what I'm saying? No, absolutely not. Yeah, I, I, I would agree with you on that as far as the shooting part of it. It didn't move around a lot. They held pretty decent. Mm -hmm. I just like the sandpaper feel. It's not overly rough. It's just comfortable to the hand to me. Yeah. Um, but let's talk about performance. Okay. Let's go into the performance of this. Yeah. Ten rounds, no problem either time. Right. right, right. No problem with it. I will give Glock that. No yeah. problem. Taurus. Talk about it. Taurus twice. 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 Once on this one, once on this one. Yeah. Had a failure to go into battery. Yep. Now. Which we talked about it, that on the last video too. Right. Okay. Uh, but the last video was obvious. It was uh, the, yeah. the, the rounds right. because it did it to yours, it did it to mine. Right. In this case, I don't think it was that. It could have been one possibility. Maybe I didn't polish the slide, uh, the feed ramp enough. Or it could be what I think it is. And I only think this because I've seen a couple videos on the doors already. And uh, those are awfully big slots. And if I tap this thing on the table, which you're not going to see it here, there's dust and stuff that comes out of them. And, and we had that in the video. So maybe I'll... Jump to that point right here. It's in them? Yeah. I thought that was a fingernail. Right. And uh, I, I would say that that is probably more the problem than anything. Mm -hmm. And uh, a perfect example would be if you look here, you can see your spring. Yep. And that spring probably keeps some of that stuff from getting in there. Yep. Whereas... Yep. The spring he's referring to so you guys can see. Hopefully you can see. Whereas you can't see the spring no, here not at, all. at all. It's all right in this area here. Which is a cleaner look. I'll give it that. If it that is. matters at all. Um, yeah, it's a cleaner look. It's very light compared to yours. Yeah. Uh, about the same. No, nah, yours got a little bit more weight. Yeah, yours is lighter. But Which is ironic that your firearms is heavier than, than the Glock. Is. However, there is another group that uh, compared the same two. Uh, and the Glock failed. And the mm. Taurus did not. Yeah. So... Here we are looking at the possibility of what is it? 
three key possibilities. Either I did not have the feed ramps polished enough, or crappy ammo, which is possible because I'm cheap, as you can tell. That's why I love tours. Or, like I say, and like the other people say, if I clean this out, I bet there's gunk in it. Yeah. And that's what I think it is. Yeah. Um, so that's the bottom line on that. But when it came to the <laughs> accuracy, yeah. Glock, you have nothing on this Taurus. The, the Taurus, they come out on top. Accurate, accurate, accurate on this Taurus. Yeah, I, I was more accurate the Taurus as well, so I'll give it that. Which, ironically, uh, and you guys, these are empty, as you guys can see. Um, I, I like the front and rear sight on the Glock more. For some reason, it, it's almost the same, but when I was lining them up, that one doesn't have, this. the, the white outline on the rear sight is a U-shape. And I think on that on that one there is just two dots, right? It yeah. is the two dot. So yeah, show that. I don't know if you can really get a good look at it. Yep, it should pick it up. Um, so two dots on that one, and like I said, it has the U shape on here. And I prefer this one when I was shooting it, but I was more accurate with the uh, Taurus. Um, again, that's Glock perfection. I think it is, man. Oh yeah, Glock perfection, perfect. man. The OG lock. So let's talk about breaking down. All right, let's talk now, about breakdown. Now, your last Taurus was not was difficult to break down. Right, and your Glock has the same setup as that last Taurus, right? Pretty much. It's now, this just is not bad. But you can yeah. actually get your fingers in there because they've right. got the grooves. Yeah. Now, again, there was a gentleman that said, hey, try this, and I've tried it, and I've been a lot more successful, and I appreciate that. Okay. This one here is set up a heck of a lot different. All I got to do is pull down those two tabs, pull the trigger, and she's good to go. Oh, that's good. Cheek. I forgot you got a glass yeah, table. Yeah, that is a glass table. If you want to <laughs> just be a little bit more careful, man. Right. Um, so, yeah. Definitely so, break go ahead down. And, and one more time, show the people towards the camera. Uh, I'm going to put it together, but show All them right. how you broke it down. Pull down here. Pull the trigger. There okay. Go. And that's on both sides, the little pool yep, thing you yep. got? Oh, and okay. it's, it, if you, compared to the last one, if you remember, go ahead and just pull it down. Hold on to it. You see those two right there? Pull it straight down. Heck of oh, a lot okay. easier, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, no, that is easier. So, Taurus, good job on that one. No, right. oh, yeah. I haven't done it in a while. That's right. So, the same thing. Yeah. So, maybe they're, they're, that, that was even, I would say. Neither one are hard. No. Do you think no. that was more easier than the... Uh, oh, this is a heck of a lot easier well, uh, than the, the original. Right, yeah, yeah. The yeah. G2C. Yeah. Um, this uh, is probably about the same. I, I would say I would call that equal. It tears apart the same way, too. Glass table underneath there. I don't know if we talked about that or not. Uh, I, I think, did the I exact same thing, man. Glad. Should we check? Yeah, that's glass. It is glass. <laughs> All right. Yeah. <laughs> is this? I don't want to hit it on the table. Is sure metal or no? I don't know. Oh, I don't, it may man. not be metal. No, 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 no. Well, it's metal. It's metal interior, but that looks. That feels like it's. Uh, yeah, that feels like it's plastic. That hmm. feels like it's plastic on the outside. Try this glass table. So yeah. let, let's let's see. Is 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 she? Is she, is she metal? I, I think she. Yeah, metal. I know she's metal because you dropped yeah. it on the glass right. table. <laughs> and I heard it. So well, we better check it again. Hold on. Let's see how <laughs> you try. Sorry, right, man. It's not my you, table. You, <laughs> you got money from those uh, Tauruses that you're buying. Accuracy, we both agree, Taurus. Yeah, I'll get to the Taurus on that one. Um, so, the only other thing would be safety features. For some people who like them, some people don't. What is it? What does that Glock have for safety features? So, there's the trigger safety here uh, on the Glock 44, which is, uh, you know, I don't even think I paid much attention to it when I was shooting. And it may be because I'm accustomed to the Hellcat. The Hellcat has the same same thing. It's, it's got have. one. Uh, Taurus, Taurus does not have a trigger safety on this model. Whew. However, it does have your old school lever that you would flip up or down. It's ampidextrous, so you can do it with whichever one. Hmm. Um, let's go into there. There it goes. Now you're in safe mode. Now you're not. Now you're in safe mode. Now you're not. Hmm. Safe mode. Not. Yep. Cool. But let's get into something very important. And that would be trigger pull and reset. Okay. Um, I find it important because once you learn where your trigger pull is, your wall, and then your reset, it is so much easier to stay on target and so much easier to fire the weapon effectively. Mm -hmm. um, so in that case, let's see what the uh, reset and uh, 
pull on the Glock feels like. Go ahead and give it a squeeze. Okay, so tell, that, tell them when you hit the wall and... So, right there. Reset. All right. So That's pretty quick, bad. man. Not too bad. Right there. I'm, right. I'm impressed. Taurus. There's the wall. There's the thing. Reset right there. Reset. Go ahead, see what you think. Because if you ask me, that has a smoother and better reset and trigger pull. Oh, yeah, that's pretty quick. That's pretty quick. All right. Yeah, yeah. I, so, I, I give it to the Taurus. again, I'd have to give that to the Taurus. So, let's see here. We're uh, 3 1. Are we 3 1? We are 3 1. So, you got price. You have accuracy, mm -hmm. the trigger pull. Mm -hmm. The only thing Glock has had on me, because mm -hmm. we also talk about grip. Uh, but then you also have the... Uh... This is the only thing that Glock had on me was from what we saw, the uh, uh, failure of the battery. Which is huge, though. It, it, we can't make it seem like that's so okay, small. Okay, okay, it's huge. Yeah. Let's, let's look at it this way. It's huge, but if it happens to you, which it did not in this video, but it has happened in prior ones right. that I've seen... When it happens to you, you have 10 rounds. Well, it takes a few seconds to clear it and all that, and then you got to get back on your target. I have 16, so if it happens to me and I have to get back on my target and it takes a little more time, I have more to continue firing right. at this person or target. Or object. But right. my thing is, I don't want to waste that time trying to clear and trying to fix that. Me either, but so, again, it can happen to any... Firearm. I just want awesome. you to know that this this firearm is backed by all law enforcement. I'm just gonna put that out there. Most uh, last last I seen, uh, uh, law enforcement doesn't carry a twenty two. They carry Glocks. That's what I that's what I mean. They carry yeah. Glocks. Yeah. Again, Glock perfection. The old G Lock you, man. Proven to you from the police department, who we know we can all <laughs> trust. I'm just kidding. Law enforcement agency. I'm just. On it yeah, because, you, know, you know it's going to come in the comments, man. Well, that's fine, that's but I just, yeah, like no. I said, I told you every time I say the word, I feel like I'm throwing up. Yeah. yeah. One more feature on huh? that we didn't talk about. What else we got? Well, same feature as uh, most pistols anymore. Right there. That Glock does come with something that you can attach a uh, laser to. Oh, yeah, 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 here. Okay. Yeah. Um, however, same Taurus has it too. However, Taurus has a little bit more option to it. Couple more grooves. I yeah. don't know if that really makes that big of a difference because I've never used it. I'm more of an iron sight guy and I always will be. Let's cut down to the brass tacks, my friend. If you had to choose between two of them, which one are you choosing? Based Honestly. on our experience, I, I'll go with the Glock. Only yeah. because it jammed. Okay. It, right. jammed, it jammed twice. So okay. for me, I will spend the money. Uh, although Failed I, the battery, not jammed. Failed the battery. Although I was more accurate, it carries more uh, ammo, or it carries more rounds. Has a better trigger pull, has a better grip, has a better yeah, yeah. feel to it. But it's like, I, I'm just thinking, right, if I'm carrying this thing and I need it, I need it to work. Well, now, if that if, that, if it didn't happen, if it didn't fail to, to charge, right, which tor could Taurus easily. Which could be several options or right. reasons why yeah. it did. Yeah, Taurus easily. Um, and there are thousands of videos already out on this, just like I'm sure there are right. on this. Right, yeah. And when it boils down to everything out there, folks, it boils down to what you like. Yep, that's it. And again, uh, I'm going to back my tours. Yep. I'm going to back yep. my tours uh, along with my other tours and my other tours. But as far as accuracy and stuff goes, uh, I'd rather be able to hit my target than hope I hit my target with a square thing of the perfection. Rare. Yeah. Which is why you have Gucci Glock. All right. <laughs> All right, family, so we appreciate you guys watching the video. Let us know in the comments below, which one do you prefer? Would you go with the Glock 44? It doesn't have to be the Robin X Blue. It could be a black one. It doesn't matter. Or would you go with the Taurus? I'm going to say the Taurus TX22 is what everybody should vote on if they have half a brain on how good accuracy is. I'm just kidding, folks. Everybody out there I know <laughs> has brain. Um, and, it, and, again, it boils down to what you like. For me, I can say this. It did shoot nice. Uh, I have yeah. I, I uh, have a little bit more respect. I wouldn't say respect. I have a little bit more.
tolerance for the Glock. The OG Glock. <laughs> All right, family, make sure you guys hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, and don't and forget, share the video. Don't forget, let's uh, come find me. Mr. Come on. Mr. 38 Special, make sure you guys go ahead. Actually, I'll leave a link to his channel in the description below, and that way you guys can just go click on it and subscribe to his channel, and uh, you can watch his stuff as well, all right? Remember, I just started out, so there aren't much out there right now, but I could use your help. Yep. Thank all right, you. appreciate you guys watching. Take it easy.